What's going on guys? Gabe here with the View Dork and today we were supposed to do a video on the Google Pixel 3a. You guys wanted it. You wanted a review. You wanted to know if this was still a relevant phone in 2020. But I had to veer off the script here because Apple just came out, just announced, and you could buy it tomorrow. Pre-order tomorrow, April 17th, the year of 2020. The most awkward year of my life and probably yours as well. But Apple just announced a budget smartphone. So what do you get when you take the best components from an iPhone 11 Pro and stack it inside the chassis and a frame of an iPhone 8? Now, Applejack's back there has been goofing on me because I would say the iPhone 8 11 Pro, but guess what? That's exactly what it is. Then we got a fingerprint scanner for those who don't want to scan their face and send that info to some government agency, you know, like some conspiracy. And, you know, we have a lot of uh, people in the community, older people, just very protective of their ugly ass mugs. We have the iPhone 8. We rename it the iPhone SE. In 2020, we have an A13 Bionic chipset in a smartphone with three gigs of RAM. And I know that doesn't, again, for those guys who are in the Android community, that doesn't sound impressive, but trust me, it is. Apple is able to do a lot with very little. And then you take a camera, take a camera, the main camera from this 1.8 aperture, meaning a low light performer. And you smack that into an iPhone 8 chassis. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a $399 smartphone with a flagship chipset that still beats out a Snapdragon 865 processor. Now, for those who are saying, well, I'm on the 5G movement, I can't do it. I want 5G. Now, unless you're living in a major metro center such as New York, Chicago, LA, Dallas, you probably don't have 5G and 5G is pretty much a very old point. But the fact is for $399, you're getting flagship processing. I mean, Google, Google has to go straight to the drawing board again with the Pixel 4a. Now, Google never puts the creme la creme, the flagship Snapdragons into their phones. And the value proposition has always been there because, well, Google has great cameras. But at $399, you're getting the best camera out there. Hands down, period. No questions asked. Yesterday, I did a video on the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 made me really disappointed in the Samsung. So I'll probably be jumping the Samsung chip. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping off. I'm riding the OnePlus bandwagon when it comes to Android devices because the value proposition is there. And when we talk about value proposition, the iPhone SE just checks all the check marks. Yeah, you're getting a 4.7 inch display. Okay, maybe, maybe you gotta look at your phone a little closer when you're doing Netflix, whatever you do. But think about it. WhatsApp, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, those are the five apps that pretty much everybody is using. And that's what we have all this processing power for. So why are we paying upwards $1,000 for a flagship device when we're just using four, five apps? Doesn't make much sense. The iPhone SE makes a whole lot of sense. $399, you trade in an old phone. You get it for $229. Now, people are like, well, wait, what? Apple's doing this? I mean, this is the same company that'll charge you $1,000 for a stand. Just a stand. <laughs> you know, anybody who's ever bought Apple products and know, you upgrade a Mac with more RAM, you, you come out spending $1,000, $2,000 more over the base model. So why is Apple doing this? Samsung has 17% of the market. Huawei has a little over 16% of the market. Meanwhile, Apple's seen 
the stronghold in the market share for smartphones dwindled to about 10.6% and they're trying to penetrate India. In fact, Apple announced that they will open their first retail store in 2021 and just got clearance to sell their iPhones direct via their website via Apple India. Now previously they couldn't do it because India had a specific regulation that the materials had to be at least 30% sourced from India if you were an outside company. So if you were an international company, you had to source 30% of your materials in India. The specs are there. We're getting a glass build with a glass back. We're getting an aluminum frame, IP67 dust water resistant up to one meter, 30 minutes. So you guys like to play in the pool, you wanna play in the pool, you can play in the pool, you can bring your phone in the pool with you. you got Retina IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen with 16 million colors. Now, we gotta stop it right there because OnePlus just announced that their displays can do 1 billion. But I dare question, can you really see the difference? We got 4.7 inch display. And we have here for demo here, we have this uh, iPhone Pro that's not mine, is Applejack's over there. And I told him, put it on airplane mode, but we got some Instagram notifications, but that's cool. But this is a 5.8 inch display. Still a little too small for my taste. I got big hands among other things. Now we got a 700. <laughs> we basically got a 720 display with a 16 by nine aspect ratio and we got a hexa core. 2x2.65 2 and 4x1.8 gigahertz processing, you get 64 gigs of storage, 3 gigs of RAM, or you get 128 or 256. The main camera is a single 12 megapixel 1.8 wide aspect ratio with dual LED, dual tone flash, HDR video, high dynamic range. That's all the rage. You can watch Netflix with this thing. Right? You can record in 4K at 2430 and 60 frames per second. Now, how does Apple do this? Well, it's the E13 chipset, the most powerful chipset on Earth. With their neural processing, their computational photography. Ladies and gentlemen, at 399 this device is an absolute steal. Google is just ripping it right now. Just ripping it. They're depressed right now. They're gonna blame it on coronavirus. They're gonna say we were understaffed. We didn't have the best minds in the world working on the Pixel 4a. I can't, as an influencer, recommend something like the Pixel 3a. I just can't, I want to. Now, if you still wanna see a review on this, for those who don't want to leave the Android ecosystem, I'll still do it. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if $399 is enough to have you venture on over to Team Blue Bubble. Wow, Apple. Welcome to Walmart. This is Gabe with the Vidor. I am signing out. Peace. <laughs>